Hi grade 10 student. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to simply prepare a data ledger account. So in this case, we're going to deal with a creditor's transaction, which is your chapter 2, or ch I mean chapter 1, apology, chapter 1 for term 2. Okay, so I have a question paper, guys, uh, of the previous year. It is 2022 question paper. Okay, let's go straight into the question. They said prepare a data ledger account for Tembambe LA for February 2022. Okay, and uh, number two is a third party, which we just gonna wrap it up after completing this. Okay, what you need to know first is that, guys, data ledger account is an asset. Which means that assets is always increased on the debit side and decrease on the credit side. We are dealing with our customer that is purchase a goods on credit. Simply means that whenever customer increase the debt, debit side is going to increase. But if customer paid a debt, decreasing the his liability. All right. So if we sell him on credit, liability is going to increase. If we charge him interest liability is going to increase if we give him discount it's going to decrease balance is after each and every transaction that we are going to do okay let's start number okay information they say transaction allow its uh, traders allow its data to settle their account in 30 days and no discount in, is granted for any payment okay transaction for february 2022 number one Balance owed on 1 February is 23,700. Balance, guys, is very simple and you have to get it. Because you don't debit or credit, you just go to the balance straight and say 23 is going to be 23,700. Okay, you just say it's on first and you name it balance. Okay, number five without wasting time. They said issued invoice number 401. Okay. Uh, to Tembambe LA for goods sold less four percent discount. We sold goods on credit to this customer. We don't cash goods that we sold to customer. We don't record anything. Just imagine or think about when you go to spa or shop right. Do they record your name? No, because you are buying cash. But if you are buying on credit, they are going to record so that they will be able to track you if you are not paying. Okay. We issued invoice simply means that he purchased on credit. Now they say that, but they subtracted four percent discount. In other words, he didn't pay that ten thousand. Okay, we are going to say on five issued invoice number four or one. Okay, because he purchased on credit, his liability is going to increase which means that we have to debit. But firstly, we need to calculate. Okay, 10,000, he didn't pay 10,000. He paid, instead of paying 100% of 10,000, he's going to pay only 96%. Why 96%? 100 minus 4 is 96. He paid 96%. Okay, so if you calculate, it's going to give you 9,600. After each and every transaction, you have to add or subtract because it's on the debit and it's a plus we're going to say this plus this but if it was this side we're going to say this minus this simple okay if you calculate you are going to get 33,300 okay 300 number two uh, they said fifth on 15 on 15 they issued a, a receipt issued receipt Invoice is when he purchased on credit. He didn't pay us. Issued a receipt is when he make a payment. Okay. Issued a receipt 201 to Tembambele. 201. For payment of account, he make a payment of 21,750. He make a payment, which means that liability is going to decrease now. 21 is going to decrease liability. Because he paid us. Okay, now he left with a debt of 33 minus 27. He left with a debt of uh, 11,550. Okay, 
now let's go to the next one on 17 they said issued credit note okay a credit note number 415 to tembambele for goods sold once they said a credit note simply means that the customer has returned a good if customer return a good he's not going to pay for that goods because he returned them which means that his liability is going to to decrease okay so we're going to say a credit note a credit note number 260 okay is going to be how much uh, let me check 4600 4600 okay which means that now it's going to be 11,000 minus 4,600 is going to give us 6,950. Okay, then the next one, uh, I think is the last one. No, it's not the last. 17, we are going to 25. Issued invoice 415 for, uh, to Tembele for goods sold. He purchased again. Issued invoice. Issued invoice. If he purchase, li liability is going to, to increase by amount of 3,500. Okay, if you calculate, you're going to add now. 6,900 plus this one is going to give you 10,450. Okay, then, then the last one. Before we go to the last one, guys, those who want to join our extra class, please make sure that you come in time and join other students that are attending each and every Friday and are given a lot of homeworks and the solution so that they can practice more and more class is only 60 rand per month make sure that you do yourself a favor build yourself accounting while you are still in grade 10 so that when you go to grade 11 and 12 it's going to be simple okay let's proceed the last one issued receipt number 226 to tembambele in settlement of his account to date discount of 150 was allowed he pay he make a payment and the discount 28 discount discount of 150 was given now we are going to calculate at the end it must be zero because he paid all his debt let's record discount first then we're gonna record issued receipt the receipt is actually what he paid okay after a discount uh is going to give you 10300 okay now he make a payment of how much the whole 10300 because we must left with zero because he paid all his debt so that's how you should uh, do it it's very simple take other videos that i did for this kind of question paper and please don't forget to subscribe so that every time when i upload video you are the first one who is going to notice the video okay so let's make sure that you subscribe and like videos for more recommendation of this kind of content i'm gonna see you on the next one